Hi, you can heal family. I'm making a video today for you just to help you know some things that you can do in order to have some peace in your life. Now, these are things that you probably have already done. So let this video just be a reminder to you to keep doing them. Okay. The first one is don't be around negative people. They will just bring you down. They want to talk about things that are unnecessary to your growth. Um, they just really have nothing valuable to say, nothing important to say, nothing to say that's going to lift your spirit and lift your mood. So you have complete control of whether or not you stay in their presence. You can actually remove yourself and this will allow you to restore peace back to you. The second thing is walk in nature. This is always a good thing to do. Spend some time in the presence of what God created. It centers you, it grounds you, it brings you back to a place of peace. So carve out the time, people. Get your sneakers on and just get out there. I, I live in uh, the north, so it's getting warmer outside. So just uh, get yourself out there and start moving walking, looking up to the heavens and seeing the beauty that God made, okay? Notice the birds, notice the blades of grass, notice the rocks that you can kick along the way and just be outside in nature. This will restore your peace. What else do we got here? Okay, the next thing is um, be mindful of your thoughts. And this one's really important because our thoughts determine our personality, our thoughts determine our actions, and um, the path that we're on. So if we can be mindful of our thoughts and monitor them and cast down anything that is negative, anything that is moving you away from a peaceful state, you have the control over what comes in your mind and what stays there, okay? So don't, don't let thoughts that aren't serving you, that are bringing you down, that are stealing your peace, take control over you. Notice it, recognize it, and then let it go. And then just kick that up. Like I always say, fill it with something good. Put something in your head that's good. I'm amazing. I'm wonderful. I'm brave. I'm strong. Just um, talk to yourself in a way that builds you up and restores your peace back. Okay. Don't let that thought take control of you. Okay. And what's the last thing we have here? Oh, good. Listen to the Bible or read your Bible every day. You might not understand everything in it. You might not be that far along in your relationship with the Lord, but take time out to build that relationship every day. Spend time with God. Spend time talking to him and learning about his character and who he is. Because the more we take on who God is, the more we begin to know who we are. And then that is how we grow people. That is how we heal. That is how we learn to fall in love with ourselves. That is how we learn to move away from relationships that aren't serving us, that are toxic, that are unhealthy, because we are living to be like our creator, okay? And when you live to be like the one who created you, he is all good. The word says he's a good God. He's a good father. He wants good things for you and good things in your life. And he wants you to live that life of peace, a life of uh, freedom, freedom from the past, freedom from things that have brought us down, that have hurt us, and that have caused us pain. Okay, so always remember, read your Bible, listen or listen to the Bible, take walks in nature, be mindful of your thoughts. And what was the first one? Oh, don't be around those negative people. They have got to go. Okay, it's easier. I, I heard a long time ago, I think it was John Corson said, it's easier if someone is on a stool to pull you, oh my gosh, hold on. It's easier, it's hard to, oh my gosh, you guys, sorry, hold on. If, if someone's on a stool, it's easier for them to pull you off of it instead of you pulling them up. You get the idea. My whole point is, it's not worth it. Don't be around negative people. Stay positive, stay light, walk in spirit and in truth and just, Enjoy every moment of where you are right now in your life. 
just be content where you are. Know that every day you're growing and you're doing things to become a better person and to um, live that life that God's called you to. So yeah, that's what I wanted to share. I love you guys. If you haven't grabbed your book, You Can Heal, make sure you do. Um, it's a great book. It's, it's everything I did to heal. I'm always healing though, you guys. The journey never ends. We grow and we learn every day. So just keep going, keep growing. And I will talk to you soon. And always remember that true healing begins with self-love. Bye, you guys.